Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Sunday School Online. I'm so happy you're here! Today we are going to be learning the story of Jesus and Zacchaeus. But first, let's start with the song. Do you remember this one? It's called, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Let's go! <laughs> Jesus loves everyone. That's our Bible point today. Every time you hear the words, Jesus loves everyone, cross your hands over your heart like this and say, thank you, Jesus. Let's try that together. Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. It's easy to love people who love you back. It's harder to love people who are mean to us. But even when people let us down, Jesus never will. He's a friend who's got our back, no matter what, and he gives us the strength we need to share his love, even with the big meanies. That is because Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Let's sing a song to tell us about our friendship with Jesus. It's called, We Can Trust Him. Everything he does, he keeps his promises we know because, yeah, the word of the Lord holds still, we can trust. 
The decorator crab is our Bible memory buddy. Crabs can be kind of pinchy. I know I'd rather not step on one. Ouch! How much do you know about crabs? Let's find out in a this or that challenge. You'll hear two fun facts about decorator crabs. It's up to you to decide which one is true, this fact or that. Do crabs have an exoskeleton, a skeleton on the outside of their body, or an endoskeleton, a skeleton on the inside of their body? Ready to hear the answer? Crabs have an exoskeleton on the outside of their body. Let's learn more. Hey everyone, I'm Decker, and I'm a spider. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm a decorator crab, but me and my crabby cousins are kind of like the spiders of the sea. That's because our skeletons are on the outside of our body, <laughs> like spiders. My skeleton's called an exoskeleton, and it comes from the Greek word that means outer skeleton. What else do we have in common with spiders? Well, <laughs> we have a bunch of bendable legs. I see you people have legs and arms that also bend. You aren't crabs too, are you? Some of you do seem a little crabby today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, you don't have pinchers or claws like crabs do. My crab relatives and I use claws and our two front legs to crush, cut, and defend ourselves. We can even pick up food with them. Since I'm a decorated crab, I pick up seaweed bling with my claws, then I stick it to my shell. <laughs> Pretty spiffy, huh? It's too bad our pinchers sometimes make people stay away from us. I suppose it would hurt if I mistook your toes for sea sponges. Ouch! In the Bible, people thought a man named Zacchaeus was pretty pinchy. He was a tax collector, and people tended to stay away from tax collectors because they often cheated people and took money for themselves. But Jesus didn't stay away from Zacchaeus. He invited himself to hang out at Zach's house. Jesus sees the best in people, even the meanies. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus saw his potential, who Zach could become. In the Bible, book of John, chapter 13, verse 34, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other. It's not always easy to love everyone. Sometimes people are mean, and it hurts your feelings. Friends, you don't have to fight back or try to fix mean people. But there is something you can do. Talk to Jesus about it. Jesus isn't just friends with nice people. Jesus loves everyone. His love can change people's hearts. Jesus sees the best in you, too. He sees your potential, and he loves you no matter what. He'll give you wisdom and help you share his love with other people, <laughs> even if they're a little crabby. Jesus loves everyone. The Bible is God's true story of love. The Bible is made up of different types of writing. There's history, poetry, and even letters. Our Bible memory verse comes from the Gospels in the New Testament. It's John 13, 34. Let's say the verse together. I'll say a line and then you repeat after me. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Awesome job, everybody. Can we try that together? So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Great job, everybody. In today's Bible story, we'll learn about a man named Zacchaeus. People who knew Zacchaeus thought he should be disqualified from being friends with Jesus. They didn't think he was good enough. 
But Jesus had other ideas. Since Jesus loves everyone, thank you, Jesus. Jesus sees us for who we are and what we can be, his friends. Let's dive into our Bible story and see what happens to Zacchaeus. We all have happy days and sad days. And some days we have both happy and sad in them. I'm going to tell you a story from the Bible about a guy who had one of those happy and sad days. But instead of just listening to the story, you'll help me play an important part. Ready? Let's jump into the story from the Bible. We'll hang out with our buddy Zacchaeus. We'll call him Zach for short. As he goes through this super good, super hard day. Here we go. Zach lived in a town called Jericho. Zach had a job there. He was the chief tax collector, which meant he made a lot of money. Zach made his money by collecting taxes for the Romans, but he also cheated and took some extra money for himself. His neighbors knew Zach was cheating them, so they didn't like him. Zacchaeus may have had a lot of money, but he wasn't very popular. How does it feel to feel all alone? Then Jesus showed up. One day, Jesus came through town and people lined up to see him. Zach wanted to see Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd and he couldn't reach Jesus. Zach couldn't reach Jesus, so he decided to climb a tree. When Jesus walked by the tree, he looked up at Zach and he called out to Zach using his name. Luke 19 verses five through six says, when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Zach scrambled out of that tree and took Jesus to his house. Well, some other folks weren't super thrilled about that. They grumbled, he has to be Zach's guest. Everyone knows that Zach is a sinner. People didn't see Zach's potential. They may have thought, once a meanie, always a meanie. But Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. He sees potential when others see a lost cause. And guess what? After spending some time with Jesus, Zacchaeus wanted to change. He didn't want to be a cheater anymore. Here's what he said. Luke 19 verses eight through 10. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, look Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay them back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Zacchaeus found a friendship with Jesus. Jesus wasn't just kind to Zach when everyone else was mean to Zach. He also let Zacchaeus know he was simply loved. And you are simply loved too. Jesus loves you and you're never alone. Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see Jesus' love in action. We're gonna try a potential energy experiment. So, we're gonna pretend we're this little yellow ball. And on our own, we bounce pretty well. But let's add Jesus' love into the equation. Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. And together, our love and Jesus' love we can accomplish amazing things. You ready? Watch this. Whoa, did you see how much farther that traveled? God's love helps us do amazing things because Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Let's head on back. Decker, our Bible memory buddy, helps us remember that Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. I love that Jesus was willing to reach out to someone that other people didn't like. And I love that Jesus still reaches out to people, to you, to me, to everyone. 
we can all be friends with Jesus. Do you remember our Bible memory verse? Let's say it together. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you, you should love each other. John 13, 34. Great job, everybody. Well, friends, that's all for this episode. I hope you had fun learning about the story of Jesus and Zacchaeus. Tune in to the next episode of Sunday School Online. That's all for today. Bye, friends.